Hey guys, checking in with a cool idea that might just scratch that cyclocross itch. The MFG cyclocross organization reached out to me earlier this summer and asked if I'd be willing to participate in what they're calling the big idea. What is the big idea? Well, it's quite simple really. They've reached out to some individual cyclists like myself to come up with some cool ride challenges and try to entice people to donate to our challenge and raise some money for a cause of our choice. The thought process behind all of this was that with basically no cyclocross happening anywhere in the nation, some fortunate individuals might have some expendable money that they would have otherwise spent on race registration. The idea was for us to come up with a cool ride challenge, entice those individuals to donate to our challenge, we would take those donations and push it towards a cause or foundation of our choice. I chose the Roanoke Outside Foundation, one, because of their immense involvement in Go Cross, Virginia's premier and only UCI cycle cross race, but also because of their mission, which is to support, maintain, and preserve all the things I love about the outdoor. And that's the main reason Emily and I moved to the Roanoke Valley region in the first place. So what's my big idea? Well. I'm calling it Cyclocross Laps for Roanoke Outside. Considering I live one mile from the Go Cross UCI venue, Fallon Park, I figured we'd take it over. So on October 17th, we're gonna tape a full cross course in Fallon Park, and we're gonna take the structure of a normal race day. First race goes off at 9 a.m., last race going off at 4 p.m., 9 to 5. We're gonna see how many laps we can turn on the cross course in that time. And when I say we, I mean everybody and anybody that can come out should. The more people we get out to turn laps, the more laps we can do, and we can take the burden off of individuals like myself and Frank Deal, the promoter of GoCross, who have committed to be there from nine to five doing laps all day. The way the donation is working, I built a pledge reg site, which I encourage you all to go donate to. I valued each lap at $5. So for every $5 of donations, that will be one lap. The goal is to raise $2,500 and consequently, we're gonna have to do 500 laps. To put that into perspective, last year on day one alone at the 2019 Go Cross UCI race, there were over 2,000 laps turned. While we may not hit a number that big, we surely can try. If you guys plan on attending, I encourage you to go to my bike reg page. The link will be in the video description below. I have made signing up free on there. We did that just so we'd have a head count and an idea of how many people might be there so we can take proper COVID-19 precautions. It's worth mentioning that throughout the day, I'll be hosting three two-hour skills clinics on the course. A group of 10 people and myself will go out and turn laps on the course, all the while practicing skills and technique to help hone your inner cyclocross warrior. As I said, I'm limiting those groups to 10 people. There's a registration fee of $35, which you'll have to donate on the pledge reg site for. The more donations we get, the more laps we have to do, the more money goes to bolstering the cycling community in the Roanoke area and exposing more people to outdoor opportunities. For more information, click the links in my video description below and I'll be pushing this out over the next four weeks. Please feel free to reach out with any questions, comments, and concerns. Don't fret, Cross is coming.